Hello, everybody. Welcome to another online story time. My name is Miss Jenna. I work at the Chippewa Falls Public Library in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. And I am very pleased that you are tuning in for another online story time with us today. Now, if you've been watching before, you know that I like to start our story times with a hello song. And usually it's say hello to our toes. Today, instead of saying hello to our toes and our nose and our ears, we are going to say hello to different animals who live around or in water. Sometimes they may live near ponds or lakes or rivers. And they're all in one of my favorite nonfiction books called Curious Critters. Do you know what animal? that is sorry there's kind of a glare from the tv i'm sorry from the computer <laughs> not the tv can you see me in the reflection look at that isn't that kind of silly <laughs> so we know this book is very shiny and reflective if you could see me here and here <laughs> anyways this is a tree frog this book, Curious Critters, is by David Fitzsimmons, and it's really, really great. So let's see, who are we going to say hello to first? <gasps> Ooh, this is a fun critter who lives in and around water. This is a, a big book. This is a crawfish. The crawfish has two little eyes on the top of his head. And you take a look. Those are different looking hands, aren't they? Those are pinchers. And they have more legs than we do too. <laughs> so instead of waving hello to the crawfish, we are going to pinch. So you can pinch this way or you can pinch this way. Which way are you going to choose? Are you going to use your whole hand? Or are you going to use two fingers? All right, we'll say hello to the crawfish. Everybody join on in. Say hello to the crawfish. Hello, crawfish. Hello, crawfish. Say hello to the crawfish. Hello, crawfish. All right, let's see who is next in Curious Critters. Ooh, this animal can also sometimes be found in people's houses. Do you know what this animal is? It's a goldfish. Now this picture has been blown up really big. Goldfish usually are not this big, are they? <laughs> So this fish also has black eyes like our crawfish, but they're on the side of its head. So we can see the scales all down its body and the fins. So take a look at the goldfish's mouth. Can you make your mouth look like the goldfish mouth? Oh, a nice big oh. Can you open it big and wide? Can you open and close it like a goldfish? <laughs> so we're not going to wave to the goldfish. And we're not going to pinch at the goldfish. We're going to slip and slide and wiggle our hand through the air like a fish through the water. Can you do that with me? Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready to sing? Say hello to the goldfish. Hello, goldfish. Hello, goldfish. Say hello to the goldfish. Hello, goldfish. Let's see, I have a few more. Ooh, this animal sometimes lives near water. This one is an eastern screech owl. Look at the tufts of feathers in his ears. 
in his beak. So owls are pretty cool. They can turn their heads much farther than we can. Can you turn your head one way? Can you turn it the other way? Yeah. So instead of waving, we're also not going to pinch. Or we're not going to swim. We're going to turn our heads to say hello to the owl. Are you ready? Here we go. Say hello to the owl. Hello, owl. Hello, owl. Say hello to the owl. Hello, owl. I have one more animal in Curious Critters that we're going to say hello to. This is an animal I've never seen in person, but I think I would like to. This is a very unique looking soft shell turtle. So this turtle has a very flat shell. Look at that turtle's nose. It's long and pointy. This is an eastern spiny soft shell turtle. And they like to wiggle and dig. They like to dig into the riverbed where they like to feel safe. And it's all spotted and speckled. So I'm going to put the book down. I'm going to show you how we're going to say hello to the spiny soft shell turtle. It has a nice flat shell, so we're going to put one hand on top of the other, just like that. Yes. And then you're going to wiggle your fingers. You can make them wiggle this way, like this. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Or you can make them wiggle up and down. It's a little trickier. <laughs> I'm only going to use one hand so I can hold the book for you, too. Okay? Get out your turtles. Say hello to the turtle. Hello, turtle. Hello, turtle. Say hello to the turtle. Hello, turtle. And of course, we can't forget to say hello to our family. I hope you're watching all together and singing along. So turn to wherever your family is standing or sitting or laying down and wave hello to them. Are you ready? Here we go. Say hello to your family. Hello, family. Hello, family. Say hello to your family. Hello, family. All right, stick around for another story about animals who live over and under the pond and a couple more songs. Our story today is Over and Under the Pond, and it is by Kate Messner, an art by Christopher Silas Neal. And I would love to thank the author and illustrators of this story, as well as the publisher Chronicle Books for allowing me to share the story with you today. Over the pond we slide, splashing through lily pads, sweeping through reeds. Can you see people in the canoe? Have you ever been in a canoe before or a different boat? The water's a mirror reflecting the sky. Sunshine and clouds, then a shadow below. What's down there? I ask. Under the pond, Mom says. What do you think is under the pond? What does that shape look like? Or that shape? Let's find out. Oh, under the pond is a whole hidden world of minnows and crayfish, turtles and bullfrogs. We're paddling over them now. That's a fun viewpoint. We can look up and see their boat and the undersides of all of the fish and the turtles. There's a frog, 
And there's different plants growing under the water too. How cool is that? But over the pond, we skim past tall rushes, whirligig beetles loop and twirl, skaters on a warm summer surface. Under the pond, minnows dart through waving forests of grass, while a brook trout lurks, ready to lunge. What is the brook, brook trout going to lunge at? What do you think? Maybe something to eat. Over the pond, we lift and dip and pull past a row of painted turtles on a waterlogged tree. One, two, three. They slip off and away. Splash, gurgle, sploosh under the pond. Let's see, there's the three turtles. One, two, three. Can you see ducks on top of the water too? Can you point to where the ducks are? Let's count them. One, two, three, four. That one is a loon. That one's my favorite type of bird. Over the pond, cattails rustle and shh in the wind. Listen close. Cutlery! Red-winged blackbirds race by. That's a red-winged blackbird. One has grass for her nest. Under the pond, a caddisfly larva builds a home of her own, a secret shelter of pebbles and sand. Over the pond, the shadows of trees lean out from the shore. We coast under a low-hanging branch. A moose looks up with a mouthful of water lilies. We've interrupted his lunch. There, he's eating the water lilies. Under the pond, beavers dive deep. They pump with powerful tails and rise to the surface with delectable roots from the mud. Can we count the beavers in the water? One, two, three. The beaver has a big flat tail. Their tails help them with lots of different things, swimming and warning their family. Over the pond, the wind gives us a push and stirs the light dappled leaves on shore. There, on a branch, a new goldfinch teeters, finally ready to fly. That's just a baby, just learning to fly. Under the pond, tadpoles are changing, learning to hop. They're losing tails, growing legs, and growing up. Over the pond, there at the shore, tall, and silent and still, a great blue heron stares down into the deep. It tenses. It takes one long-legged step and strikes. There's its head and beak. It catches a wiggling quicksilver minnow from where it was hiding under the pond. Just like the moose, he's having lunch too. Over the pond we drift, heads tipped up to the sun. A woodpecker clings to the teetering pine digging for ants. Now we're looking down from way up in the trees. They look very small in their boat, don't they? Under the pond, an otter claws for freshwater mussels. These are mussels. And there's the otter. Over the pond, a sleepy dragonfly lands for a rest. Right on the little kid's knee. 
that's exciting. His spindly legs tickle my knee. Can you tickle your knee? <laughs> Under the pond, dragonfly larvae watch what swims by. They catch minnows in monster fast jaws. Look at the sky. The sky is changing colors, isn't it? What is happening? The sun is setting, you're right. Over the pond, the shadows stretch. Ospreys circle on quiet wing. Raccoons and mink stalk the shoreline for supper. Under the pond, with a flip of the tail, a crayfish disappears in the dark. Over the pond, we head for home. We glide, swish, bump, right up onto the shore as a far off loon calls good night. The sky turns from sunset to dusk to dark. Night settles over the pond, the prowling catfish and drowsy turtles, the scuttling crayfish and tadpoles turning into frogs wading herons, and stalking raccoons. And the hidden world under the pond. The end. I encourage you to check this book out and you can read the author's note and also learn more about the animals featured in Over and Under the Pond. Who is ready for a song about butterflies? Have you been seeing lots of butterflies outside? I sure have. There are all sorts of different sizes and colors and shapes. Aren't they beautiful? I really like butterflies. So this song is to the tune of Skip to My Loo. And the first verse, you're gonna hold up your finger and turn it into a wiggly caterpillar. Can you do that with me? You can do one caterpillar, or you can do two caterpillars. <laughs> you could even get them to crawl on your skin. <laughs> so it goes like this. I'm a caterpillar, wiggle with me. I'm a caterpillar, wiggle with me. I'm a caterpillar, wiggle with me. What'll I be, my darling? Let's try that again, all together. Get out those caterpillars. I'm a caterpillar, wiggle with me. I'm a caterpillar, wiggle with me. I'm a caterpillar, wiggle with me. What'll I be, my darling? Well, after a caterpillar is a chrysalis. Can you turn your hands into a chrysalis? Kind of cup them and put them together like you're gonna hold something fragile and small. The words are, I'm a chrysalis, now sleep with me. 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 What'll I be, my darling? The last verse, the chrysalis opens up and we see a beautiful butterfly. So you're gonna hold your thumbs together so it looks like they're standing right next to each other and then flap your butterfly wings. The words are, I'm a butterfly, come fly with me. 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 Come fly with me, my darling. Are you ready to join me on a little trip to the local pond?
We need some things to take with us. We need a backpack. Can you pretend to put a backpack on? Yeah, oh, there we go. I'm gonna hold it by my straps. And I've got my hiking boots on. And we're gonna start hiking. Can you walk in place with me? Hold that backpack. Here we go. This is to the tune of Mulberry Bush. Here we go hiking through the trees, through the trees, through the trees. Here we go hiking through the trees. The forest is so much fun. Let's try that all together. Here we go hiking through the trees, through the trees, through the trees. Here we go hiking through the trees. The forest is so much fun. Oh, we've come to a hill. Oh, it's not that big. <laughs> We're going to hike up the hill now. Here we go hiking up the hill, up the hill, up the hill. Here we go hiking up the hill. The forest is so much fun. All right, we've got up the hill. Now we have to go down. Here we go hiking down the hill, down the hill, down the hill. Here we go hiking down the hill. The forest is so much fun. Oh, I see the pond. We're getting closer. I'm really excited. Let's run. There's no trees. There's a big grassy marshy area. And we've got a nice trail to run to the pond. Here we go running through the marsh, through the marsh, through the marsh. Here we go running through the marsh. The marsh is so much fun. Oh, we're here. I see the pond. What kind of creatures do we see in our pond? Let's see. What do you see? We're going to pretend. I pretend to see a raccoon. What do you see? Oh. Oh, there's a heron waiting for some fish to eat. Oh, I see the deer. They're running away. We scared them with our running. Bye, deer. All right, we've got our swimming suits on. We're going to swim in this pond. Are you ready? Can you swim? You can swim like this. Some people will lay on their backs and they'll do something called a backstroke. Or some people use very small arms and cupped hands. You swim how you want to. We're going to sing, here we go swimming through the pond. Are you ready? Here we go swimming through the pond, through the pond, through the pond. Here we go swimming through the pond. The pond is so much fun. There's lots of other things we can do at the pond. Let's get our fishing poles out. Mine is a big, long one. Got this thing. <laughs> I forgot what this is called. Does anybody have those moments? <laughs> We're going to go fishing. So cast your line into the water. Oh, we've got to laugh at ourselves when we screw up sometimes, don't we? How many times does Miss Jenna forget words in the middle of story time? <laughs> Too often. <laughs> Oh, I hope you're laughing at me. We all need a good laugh. All right, we're going to fish in the pond. Here we go fishing in the pond, in the pond, in the pond. Here we go fishing in the pond. The pond is so much fun. Did you catch anything besides a laugh? <laughs> I didn't catch anything. Nope. That's okay. It's time to head back home anyways. We're going to put our hiking boots back on. We've all dried off. Get that backpack back on. All right. Oh, we don't need to run through the marsh this time. We're going to watch as we walk. We're going to walk slowly, see what kind of birds we might see or butterflies. Yeah, so we'll walk nice and slowly back through the marsh. Here we go walking through the marsh. Through the marsh, through the marsh. Here we go walking through the marsh. The marsh is so much fun. Oh, we're back to that hill. We have to go up the 
hill again. Here we go walking up the hill, up the hill, up the hill. Here we go walking up the hill. The forest is so much fun. We're back up at the top. Oh, only way to go is down. You ready? Grab that backpack. Here we go walking down the hill, down the hill, down the hill. Here we go walking down the hill. The forest is so much fun. Oh, there's still some more forest, some more trees. I hear woodpeckers. Lots of other birds. You better tiptoe. Can you tiptoe? We're going to be as quiet as we can. Then maybe we can see lots of different animals and birds and insects. I don't want to hold on to my backpack anymore. I'm going to hold on to some binoculars. Can you hold binoculars too? We're going to pretend we're going to tiptoe and watch for animals. Here we go. Here we go tiptoeing through the forest, through the forest, through the forest. Here we go tiptoeing through the forest. The forest is so much fun. We are back to our car. Time to head home. Thanks so much for joining me on a trip to the pond. Thank you so much for joining me today for our story time about animals who live in and around water. I hope you had a good time listening and singing and um, doing different movements. And I hope you learned something as well. If you are looking for more books about animals who live in and around freshwater lakes and streams and ponds, look at the post below. I've got some more books that I recommend that you can read together as a family. We miss you so much at the library. We hope you're being safe and staying cool and staying dry, depending on when you're watching this. Take care. Have a wonderful, amazing rest of your day. Bye.